got a question from the viewers. The viewers. How many times a day do you poop? No, that was your question. I'm gonna say one to five. One to five? <laughs> Depends on the day. That's Anyways, good. Thank you. <laughs> Mom always Two to three is nice are good. bowel movement. I'm just gonna turn on this light. Don't hit me, Nisha. You're allowed to turn on lights. Sweet. Not it's illegal. not illegal. <laughs> so somebody asked, when did I stop believing in Santa Claus? You like cried. What? I don't even remember a point in my life where I believed in him. Um, I yeah. wanted to believe in him. Don't you remember the pictures when you were like 18 months and two years old and <laughs> yeah, three yeah, years don't old? Yeah, you remember when you were 18 months? Like, come on, <laughs> Get it together. No, you... No, you believed when you were a kid. Yeah, you did. Like, about three years? Three years old? No. Oh. It's good that I have Maybe my mom here to answer this long, question. It, huh? was, it was longer. But remember, Nisha, you I let told... you down at an early age. Yeah, I know. I told Brandon. <laughs> you told why? me, and I told her. That's what happened. And yeah. then Sonali was really upset. Mm -hmm. Wait, why? But he, for some any. reason, you thought the elf was real. Oh my gosh, forever. I, okay, here's a little story time. I in literally like went on, it was not in high school. <laughs> Middle I, school? Maybe in elementary school. No, it was elementary. not. It's it elementary. It was not in middle school. But anyways, I literally ordered an elf on the shelf online because I thought they were magical. <laughs> and I thought they were just going to move in my sleep. But apparently, and my mom even told me, it's the parents that do it, Sonali. Don't do this. Don't order one. And then I ordered one and, well, with her with her card even. And because I didn't have a card at the time. But I bought an elf on the shelf and nothing moved. I was really pissed. And it even came with like little snowflakes that were like paper cutouts of just circles. And I was like, what the? It's because of your teacher in your class. No, it was my classmates. I remember this one girl yeah. had an elf. What about you? Your classmates yeah, too? Yeah, my classmates were talking about every day after I get school, they'd be like, yeah, my elf, like, did this. destroyed our kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, like, my mom would never do that. I know. My mom neither. <laughs> Anyways, so... I like um, to keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. So, Nish has gone to this thing nice. with her sorority sisters. What? Oh, really? Recently? No, okay. I remember that was a long time ago. Uh, Sorority Sisters was once, but I went to it before then. Oh. Well, I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. Um, so we're really prepared. We literally brought our ski jackets <laughs> and ski pants and stuff and like Nisha's that. Up. Yeah, Nisha's in like a, just one sweater and some leggings. We'll see if we're gonna get cold, but it's. I'm actually kind of sweating in this car. My Sula is real right now, it's fine. The famous stone mountain. That's the little carving. I really thought this carving was way bigger than that, but I guess not. You're gonna be so sweaty. But we won't have to walk because it's like an automated conveyor belt. And then you're gonna get sweaty and you're gonna be planning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're adding to the memories. <laughs> Where was this from? Where do we go? North Carolina. And now Stone Mountain, Snow Mountain. Not nearly as cool, but. <laughs> this makes me feel so happy actually doing something Christmassy. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> kind not, of. As cold, not as cold as I would be. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, a little traumatic. <laughs> So at UCF Social Media, my co-worker made this really funny video. Apparently, um, the last day of like filming when I was at work, we made like something for the Instagram TV, and it was really cold because it was really, really windy. So I guess we didn't realize that it was still filming, but I was just being really dramatic, and he got it on footage. So I'm just gonna place the video right here because it's just so funny, and he made like a little news video out of it. And luckily, those sandhill cranes will be able to fly once again. Now let's check on Sonali in Orlando, Florida to see what winter's like. Welcome to my TED Talk. I'm well, what do you have to, to say? About Christmas lights. Okay. I have something to say about them. What's your, what's your thing? So as a YouTuber, for five years, six years now, 
I would appreciate if Christmas lights. I would appreciate if All Christmas lights. Well, yes, but I would appreciate if Christmas lights were. I think it's the LED thing that makes it go like, like this in videos. I the hate Megatrons, that. Yeah. Yeah, you like, like you can't it. like see them in videos, like you see them in person. So, like whatever that kind of light is, I just would appreciate. Yeah, if I could videotape what I'm seeing because I'm just that type of girl. My thing is for Christmas lights. I really don't like the people who have the ones that flash like this while I'm driving. I do. And it's like, no, it's flash so the beat distracting. Of the music. Okay, music is different, I guess. Wish him were utilized inside for natural lighting, though, instead of. Instagram husband. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got Oreos in there? Heck yeah. <laughs> Mom's status right there. Yeah. Literally, I bring <laughs> apples, she brings Oreos. Oreos it's and cool, apples. Mom. Well, damn. Mine are honey crisp apples, okay? I'm a bougie mom. I buy the good shit. Yeah, what? I bought this price specifically for the bar call I went to yesterday. Just to bring Oreos in them? Wolf issue. <laughs> right next to us and my mom of course chose the lane that we have to walk in. Here we go. Three, I know, two, I saw it. One. Blast off. Blast off. Oh my god. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> we gonna die. It's almost my turn. Our turn, we're going on the groove tubes. The big ones. This is not enough room to sit. This is not enough room to sit. Oh my god, God bless. She broke her nail. The aftermath. That was scary as shit. That was steep. Oh my gosh. It was steep as shit. I was, like, shit. Bouncing, like over the thing. <laughs> I was afraid you were gonna fall out because he went backwards. Is that fun there? Yeah, it was fun, but scary. I look like I'm crying. Oh, Ryan. Ryan, you should be on an ad. You look so cute <laughs> and having fun. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh oh. This is not good snow, huh? Yeah, because it melts. Oh shit. Yeah. And then it re freezes. It's literally sonic ice. This shit is not snow. Mad. What? It's a hailstorm. It's literally a hailstorm. <laughs> Sucks, it's ice. Yeah. Would you like better the two person or one person more? Two person. It was group faster. Two person? Group because it was, it was so deeper. Fun, yeah. I wish I could have vlogged it, but like, I had to hold on to my life. Going to Zyka's, getting some chicken 65. What do you think about chicken 65? I've had this before. Yeah, I think you did. We got mango lassies too. So I'm at my mom's right now. I'm about to go home, but before that, I might as well use this good lighting or somewhat good lighting to answer y'all's questions. Um, I didn't get that many, but may as well answer the ones that I got. So one of them was, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? And honestly, like I don't really have that many traditions. Honestly, not even like one that I can think of. Cause like we don't really do Christmas Christmas. It's like, I don't know, we, we used to. Then we just started getting money and then 
I don't know. Then my parents got a divorce. So it's like, I don't even really know. Maybe like looking at all the ornaments because they remind me of like memories I had as a kid. And like, obviously like there's DIY ornaments that we made as kids. So those are really cool to see every year. Um, so maybe that could be one of my favorite Christmas traditions. What's your biggest piece of advice for a college freshman? I would say to be hopeful for the future and don't give up because I almost felt like college wasn't for me or like I don't want to be here because I was out of state, blah, 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 because I didn't really have that many friends. But you have to get involved to make friends and like the more effort you put in, the more you're going to get out of it. You may not be doing enough, so just do more. Um, what's your favorite place to eat on campus? I definitely need to eat on campus more, especially the food trucks. I've never had a food truck at UCF and I definitely want to try like all of them. Um, so that's on my senior bucket list is to eat at one of those food trucks on Memory Mall. But the only place I really ever ate at was in the student union. It's called Night Stop and they sell literally the best sushi ever. Okay, maybe not ever, but like, you know, good quick sushi. I swear it's better than Publix. So definitely stop on by there if you guys like sushi. It's really, really good. The Philly roll is like to die for. Where in India are you from? So my dad is from... Bombay, I think. Bombay, Bangalore. My mom is from Kerala, so I'm South Indian. Next question is, after college, are you going to join a company or become an entrepreneur? So the goal, of course, is to be an entrepreneur. Um, if you guys didn't know, that was my minor at first, but it was <laughs> a little hard and I didn't really want to put in the effort, I'm going to be honest. Like, I just didn't really want to do it. I wasn't super passionate about it. Um, so I took one class and it was like really hard, so I just changed my minor. Um, but I do want to be one and I know that I can be one without having that as my minor But I don't know like really exactly what like I want to do like what company I want like I don't know It's just like I guess we'll just have to wait for the future. What is my major at school? My major is a radio television So I'm the generalist track not the production track But I kind of regret not doing the production track just because it looks so much cooler And then the last question is what's your favorite part about UCF? <sighs> I don't know there's so many favorite things about UCF but I would say that like it really showed me like that I can be one independent um that a whole new city can bring you so many new opportunities and like I never thought that could be a thing like I, I just thought I was going there for college but I feel like I've just gotten so many opportunities in Orlando and that's kind of why I picked Orlando over Tallahassee just because I knew it'd be more opportunistic what else what else just the campus it's so pretty like if you guys just Google search UCF campus, like y'all will be blown away, but it's even more gorgeous in person. Just maybe not the weather. The weather could be a little less humid, but it's fine. Only got one more semester of all this humidity, so then I'll be back in Georgia. We literally had so much fun tonight at Stone Mountain. I'm so glad I got to do that because I wanted to do that so, so bad, but it was just like not super cheap, so I didn't really want to like make that decision to do it. But then my sister asked me to go and I was like, you know what? Let's just do it because I've been wanting to do it and I'm so glad I did because it, it was really really fun and I feel like that was the first like Christmassy thing I've done this whole like break and I want to do more things like that. If you guys have any more questions for me go ahead and comment them down below that way I can answer them in the next vlogmas but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>